salvation. And they kept to the water and they ended up resurrected the glass box. We did have somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and they may end up arranged in tours and stuff like that. And then the whole point of the whole thing besides the different yeah, yeah, where you've got Australia and yeah, Canada. So I'll do a print story. These guys will put together a television story that will run roughly. Uh, in our case, it was also exacerbated by exchange rates moving uh, quite significantly. A major proportion of our business in the, is in the United States, and so the, 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 the change of the euro and sterling rates to the U.S. dollar obviously had an adverse impact. Uh, so it was out of necessity for the business as a whole that we obviously looked to s secure you know, uh, efficient uh, uh, offshore uh, manufacturing. And obviously, in our case, we had the benefit that we own the facility. What we do about now, I mean, it's pretty much equivalent, we've made about 10 million pieces uh, of ceramics, uh, similar, a little bit more in the UK, uh, and that's really what the prize is, is, is to basically move the lion's share of that production uh, here to Indonesia. Uh, that being said, there'll always be um, a certain level of production uh, in the United Kingdom and indeed Ireland, uh, prestige items and, and certain uh, core power core uh, patterns uh, that will stay. So we're not abandoning uh, our, our, our original countries of origin, uh, we're just simply uh, you know, re reflecting with the times uh, that have changed in the world and making sure that the business as a whole can continue to have a future and run profitably. Uh, and clearly that requires you to have a cost competitive manufacturing base.